Alright, for this we're going to use a uh, cutting wheel. Uh, put it on our drill for metal. Alright, for this project we're going to take the zerk fitting and we're going to uh, just get it down to what looks like the nut part on there. We're going to take off where you would put grease into something. So we're just going to go down to here about where the end of the jaw is on the vice grips. And we're just going to get this guy here and I'm just going to cut across as close to that thing as I can. Continue on right here with it. Ooh, it wants to jump around. Okay, we reset that, see what happens here if we can get it real quick. Finishes it says fast and quick. Picks up. And we're just going to smooth this off a little bit. Okay. Alright, and here's the finish. After using the cutting disc. And we got it pretty flat. Looks good. Uh, so what we're trying to achieve is this being flat. And not any burrs or anything on it. So let's get it out of the vice grip. Okay, this is what we want. We don't want any burrs or anything on it. So, it looks pretty good. Oops, there we go. Looks pretty good. So we're going to see if it works. Okay, so when you're using one of these cutting discs, uh, always make sure you don't have uh, rags or something down here. You know, where the sparks are going to fly off, catch something on fire. So uh, we just did it right over here, over the concrete right here. Nothing down here. Uh, far enough away from the rugs. So, yeah, just make sure that you're always thinking safe. You don't want, or you don't want to do it where there's a gas leak or something. Do-do, do-do-do, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-
corners together and they go like that and then but I'm sure my kids and that stuff aren't surprised but after uh, 30 years or whatever 25 20 years uh, lost one of these little hold down screws that go in here which hold the end of this together that slides in here and then you need the screw to hold the other piece on so that's what we just made is this little guy here out of a zerk fitting cut the top rounded part off and now we can get this in this guy took a little bit of threading We can get this guy in there. And then I can put my uh, frame together. So we can get this guy going. Okay, I'm gonna stick the other side in. And needed something that was low profile not going to be in the way, you got to stay, uh, actually if you wanted to buy these pieces right here, wow, wow we. that's all I can tell you, it's a pretty expensive uh, endeavor for just a couple, well I would have then, I, you have to buy the set, which is uh, all these little corner bracket pieces and the screws and they all come in a kit with some spring-loaded guys that hold the thing in. If I can get this together. Okay. So there we go, we got that. That's what we're aiming for. So once I tighten that up, now this guy here, the one that we just made, it's not a screw but it's got to be flush enough and you don't want something sharp on here. It's going to cut somebody down the road or whatever. So I'm just going to put this guy in there, and there you go, you're going to have it. Come up the zerk fitting, and it's going to tighten down on there. Make it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart. And nobody gets hurt, and it's pretty flush, so we're pretty close to it. But you have to buy these. Wow. This is a very expensive uh, set of uh, pieces of hold these frames together. Actually the frames are pretty expensive too, but this is going to save yourself a few pennies by getting a different uh, get one of these guys and actually I'm going to crank this down all the way on there so it's all the way down. And there you go. Okay, after that it sticks out just hair over the top. But, you know what, I can live with that. Pictures don't always hang level and stuff, but wow. You had to buy these pieces for one screw. Uh, very expensive proposition, so there's my frame. So now I can move on to another project. Alright, uh, guys, all have a great day. <laughs>